when I went to my disability doctor uh, Monday. Uh, a lot of you from Litchfield knows about Carson Howard. His uh, ex was wife when he was married. Uh, she's seven years younger than him, but uh, she they were still married when he died. So I say ex wife, really, it was his wife. But he's dead now. But the first time going up, I was kind of anxious about the new doctor, so I didn't say much. But on the way back, we started talking about God. I said, yeah, you're Carson's wife, right? She's like, yeah. I said, you remember him? I said, yeah, I've been to church with him many times. I even preached at my church before. And we was just talking, and I was telling about how I used to be a preacher and all this kind of stuff. She's like, well, I, I kind of think I remember you back then. You didn't have all them the anxiety issues and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you get back with God, you won't have all that anymore. And I was also talking to a lady that I went to church with the time before that. And it seems like God just using that, you know, as a way to. And I've been a lot more positive lately. Um, still have moments, but I'm more positive. I want y'all continue to pray for that. I also remember Olsen over on my third house this morning. I ain't been here for a while, but they've been both sick too as well. Um, what, what's all going on with him? Yeah. I want to make sure it's safe. Right. an infected gallbladder with gallstones, and um, they want to take it out for being put to sleep. And also, he has sugar. His sugar's running like over 500, and they can't get it under control. And uh, I have a lot of health problems. I'm on this option, heart failure. I uh, pray for both of us that God will heal. I know he's a healer. I know that he can do it. And also remember, uh, my husband Chris today is kind of off the wagon again. I knew that would happen, and I'm not only post that like that, but on here, but uh, I kind of felt led to do that tonight. But um, yeah, I was so proud of him. He was going to counseling. He was doing better, but he's kind of slipped back with the old friends. I'm tr trying to get out of this area so that don't happen as much too. Um, so just remember, God will open up the door for that. God, we come into you tonight, Lord. We thank you again for the opportunity to be here today. God, I know without you, it's impossible. Please, God, you know, you know each and every heart, you know each and every mind today, you know each and everything. God, I know that you can touch Chris, you can touch Ocean Arable, you can touch me. And God, give me that strength to keep going. Give me that strength to not to give up today. Give me that strength, Lord, to get the control back in my life and. Because God, I know that you're able and willing to touch Arbo and OC. You know, they've been there for me a lot of times whenever nobody else was. You know, uh, I do love them a lot. And God just continue to touch them today and uh, move in their life as well. And God, we just give you all praise, power, and glory for everything as you keep us under the shadow of your wings today. It will be done on each and everything today under the shadow of his wings.